arguably the dumbest member of Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, attended a Trump rally that took place in Georgia over the weekend. Yes, that's apparently still a thing that happens in 2022, even though Trump isn't running for president and this isn't even a presidential election year either way. She spoke at this event and she was rambling incoherently about random stuff. And then she invoked Pete Buttigieg. Now, what's interesting is that you can tell that she very clearly intended to insult him in a homophobic way, but she seemingly mixed up her transphobic talking points and homophobic talking points, and she ended up insulting him in a way that just was incoherent and didn't make any sense whatsoever. But let's watch, and then I'll break it down. And you know what? Pete Buttigieg can take his electric vehicles and his bicycles, and he and his husband can stay out of our girls' bathrooms. Yep. Yeah. And only Brilliant. She's very clearly an intelligent individual. And I love how the crowd is cheering as she said that. Said something that makes no sense whatsoever. Was there a cogent point that she was making there? Uh, in their minds, were they uh, listening and thought, maybe this doesn't add up, but I can fill in the blanks and understand what she's trying to say? Essentially, gay is bad. I mean, does anyone in that crowd have any brain cells that work? We need a psychologist to analyze MAGA chuds, more broadly speaking. But either way, she took that insult, first and foremost, in a completely weird direction. She said Pete Buttigieg can take his electric vehicles and his bicycles. And you'd think from that, she jumped to the and shoved them up his ass. And it works because, you know, you could take this and shove it is a thing that people commonly say, but he's also gay. So, LOL, butt sex. It works, you know, as a homophobic insult as well. But she doesn't take that in that direction. She says, oh, he can take his electric vehicles and you can stay out of girls' bathrooms. What? What does that even what does that even mean? So she's referring to this stereotype about trans women, this uh, insult. It's not even a stereotype, really. It's this um lie and attack against trans women that really their cis men LARPing as trans women so they can go into girls' bathrooms and prey on women in bathrooms. Now, that doesn't actually happen. This isn't a widespread occurrence. Trans women are not preying on cis women in bathrooms. Furthermore, Pete Buttigieg is a gay man, so he's not interested in women at all. So is he going into girls' bathrooms? Do you listen to what you say, Marjorie Green, as the words come out of your mouth? Or is there just no connection between your brain and the words that come out of your mouth? I, I just, <laughs> she's so stupid. I mean, this is very basic, right? Being homophobic and transphobic is something that is very easy for conservatives. But if you can't even get the talking points right, if you confuse your transphobic talking points for your homophobic talking points, you're just dumber than everyone else in congress i don't even know how to respond to this if she was following reactionary politics closely lately she'd realize that the current thing to say against gay people is that they're grooming children and they want to teach children to be gay so if she were to say and also people to judge um you know keep your uh, take your bicycles and your electric vehicles and shove them up your ass and also side note you know keep your gay stuff out of the classrooms i don't want you grooming our children then, you know, it still would be an idiotic thing to say, but at least we would know, oh, I, I see she's she's playing into the whole gays are trying to teach children to be gay thing, right? But she just goes to this, oh, stay out of girls' bathrooms. I don't think he's going to be going into girls' bathrooms, Marjorie, because he doesn't identify as a woman because he's a cis man and he's gay. He's not attracted to women. Even when she's trying to be hateful, she finds a way to say it in the dumbest way imaginable. And there's no intelligent way to espouse hate. But Marjorie Taylor Greene found a way to add an extra layer of stupidity to her hateful rhetoric. It's, it's truly just almost impressive in a way. Because just when you think, you know, she can't get any dumber, she takes it as a challenge. So, I mean, there's not much to say about this. I think that we already know. Marjorie Green is the dumbest member of Congress or one of the dumbest members of, uh, of Congress. It's arguable, right? Because there's people like Louis Gohmert in Congress also. But I think, honestly, she might literally be the dumbest person in Congress. I mean, her IQ is in the single digits. This is somebody who probably eats paint chips. I'm genuinely impressed that she hasn't died yet just by forgetting to breathe or by tying her shoelaces together and falling down and hitting her head on concrete. I just, I'm, I'm impressed that she managed to make it to her 40s or 50s, however old she is. 
being that stupid. I mean, you have to have some level of common sense to survive, right? But she doesn't have a sufficient amount of common sense to make it this far in life. And I'm impressed that she's survived this long and somehow managed to make it to Congress. Like, this is a member of Congress. She has power. So, you know, if you honestly ever doubted yourself and you thought, maybe I'm not good enough for this job. Maybe I'm not good enough for this or that. No, Marjorie Greene made it to Congress. If she can do that, I assure you, you can do anything you put your mind to, anything. Anything is possible because of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Mike is a total shit lip. Shit lip, shit lip. Once he started shilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.